Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick video. I've had a few requests asking me to explain how you can uh, open up MIDI pipe files automatically or get MIDI, the MIDI pipe application to open up files automatically. Uh, there are a couple of ways to do this. One is to simply click on your MIDI pipe file wherever you saved it. It will open up MIDI pipe and you'll have access to your pipes. Um, if you were wanting something a little more in depth than that, um, what I highly recommend is picking up on uh, Apple's script editor to create Apple scripts or using their automator application. Doing so will enable you to uh, utilize Apple scripts to automate some of these features. Um, for this particular request, it's a very simple script uh, that we have here. Tell application finder to open a file at a specific location listed in these quote between these quotation marks and the Intel uh, line signals the end of your code uh, or your script. Um, so all we need to do is replace the quotes here with the file uh, location. So to do that, uh, you can just simply drag and drop uh, your file location to get the uh, full string. Um, you have Macintosh HD users and then everything else, um, which again, if I didn't mention already, I will go ahead and copy and paste this in the description below so that you don't have to worry about typing it out. So let's go ahead and we will delete users since we already have that up here. We'll select this whole line, Command X to cut the file path. Select it at where it says U. Highlight the rest of this, Command V to paste and then we will get rid of the forward slashes and replace them with colons to use the appropriate apple script etiquette everything looks right macintosh hd users uh, your username documents basically following the file path and then hit run and then you see that it launches mini pipe that was actually already open Make sure you have the correct file path. Hit run. You see that it launches MIDI pipe. Our pipes are present. That's all there is to it. Um, so there's a lot more that you can do um, with scripting. Uh, a lot more things that you can use to automate your uh, startup on Sunday mornings or your workflows. Um, I typically had a workflow and automation to start up all the applications and files that I needed for Sunday morning, uh, as well as if there were tasks that I needed to accomplish, like turning off screen savers or things like that. And then I would have a separate automation at the end of a Sunday to essentially take my computer out of work mode um, or performance mode and put it back into like, you know, just typical workflow mode of what I would do, you know, Monday through Saturday. Uh, so, if you have uh, any desire to see uh, how I would do more of the automation, feel free to let me know in the comments below. But as I previously mentioned, I will uh, leave the uh, Apple Script um, template for you down in the description below, and let me know if you need anything else. Hope you all have a great day.